Lord, you've been so good to us. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. That it can lead to our ministry. Yes, 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 right now. Lord, now we come once again before that throne of mercy. Thank you. Uh -huh. Seeking thy faith. Yes. yes, Lord. Lord, we ask now that you show up in this place right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, we ask that you have your way. Please, Lord. Yes. You're welcome. Go ahead, Lord, go ahead. In order for your word to go forth, uh -huh. have to sit down. Uh -huh. yes. Yes, you must stand. Oh, yes, uh -huh. Lord. Lord, we ask God that you touch our mind that we might think like this. Oh, yes, yeah. oh, yes. Yeah. God bless our eyes that we might yeah. see your word. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Touch our ears, Father God, that we may hear your voice. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 Touch our hearts that we may feel your presence. Yes. Uh -huh. And then, oh Lord, when it's all over, said and done, we pray that your name may receive all the yes, yes, yes. yes, sir. All the glory and all the praise. Yes. In your son Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 Truly is a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yesterday we attended a funeral. Amen. And I realized it could have been mine. All right. Uh -huh. Amen, Pastor. Yeah, Lord. But the Lord once again looked beyond all of my faults. Well, 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 well. Thank you. Saw to my every need. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. I know things might not go be going the way that you think they ought to be going. Mm -hmm. That's right, Greg. But like the old folks say, he. Woke me up this morning. Well, thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clothe you in your right mind. Yeah. You need a name. Somebody yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. You Jesus. might not have, thank you understand, the steak and the eggs this morning. All right. Yeah. 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 Well, thank God for the piece of bread and the, and the, and the cup of coffee that you had. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, Lord. God is. So good. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, we love you, Lord. God, who is the head of our life. Amen. Yes. Son in the ministry, Reverend Anthony Dismore. Mm -hmm. To the minister wives. Amen. Deacon and Deacon Nesson. Real, 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 real. God has brought us a mighty. Oh, yes. Oh, oh that is. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So, right. 20 years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. 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 His grace and yeah, his mercy. mercy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. I'm going to try to hold us long because we got to be back in. Three but I'm gonna let the Lord have His way. All right now. All right, Ray. We had already read our devotional reading, but I want to look at two particular verses if you don't mind. All right. Well, verse number twenty-nine. Mm -hmm. And verse number thirty. All right. Well, I know this, that after my departing, shall grievous wolves enter and gnaw you, not sparing the flock. Mm -hmm. Also of your own selves, mm -hmm. Come on now. shall men arise, yes. speaking perverse things, All right. to draw away disciples after them. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Let see. How the church survived when under attack. Yeah, all right, Rip. How the church survived when under attack. You understand and realize no matter what, the church may face. All right now. Mm. We shall survive. Amen. 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 Yeah. In the year of 1999, the Lord saw fit to add another church well, thank you, Lord. to the body of Christ. Thank you. Uh -huh. yeah. By the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. And under the leadership of our beloved Pastor Fred J. Amen. 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 The word of faith 
Missionary Baptist Church was established. All right, All right. amen. We've been together now for 20 years. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And trust me, it hasn't been easy. All right. All right. Amen. In these 20 years, we have seen a lot. Mm -hmm. We have witnessed a lot. Amen. Amen. We as a church family have gone through a lot. Yeah. Amen. Back in the day, we had people to come from miles away mm -hmm. just to see what was going on yeah. in these woods. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Some came to be a part of the family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nevertheless, people came. Yeah. Yeah. Some came and some stayed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Some came and eventually bailed out yeah. on us. Oh. Amen. Mm -hmm. But no matter who came and who left. All right, Rip. Right. God was still here. Yeah. Amen. All right, Rip. Right. 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 That's a good one. And it led me to wonder, how do the church survive? All right, Rip. When it's under attack. Yeah. You got to realize and understand something to yourself that the church is under attack. Right. Amen. Amen. The church is yeah. being persecuted. Yeah. yeah. The church is going through some things. All right. Yes, the church, mm -hmm. the ecclesia, yeah. the one Jesus said upon this rock, All right, man. I will build my church. Yeah. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. But that, that same church yeah. All right. is being persecuted. Yeah. Yes. Under attack. Folks have fallen out mm -hmm. with the church. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. People ain't satisfied mm -hmm. with the church. All right, yeah, man. We get mad because the church won't pay our bills. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Amen. But then get double mad when we ask for some money. Yeah, All yeah. right, not real. The church. You a preach, place where you preach it, you preach we it. come to worship oh, yeah. Yeah. and praise God. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? And now you have to deal with folks that are walk inside that same place yes. and gun you down. Yes. All right now. I'm talking about the church now. Yeah. Yeah. A holy and sacred place. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. And here now, before we can cut grass, you got to pick up wine bottles and beer bottles, yeah. cigarette butts, yeah. and condom paper. Real, real. Off the property of the church. Yeah. All right, real. Amen, real. I'm here to tell you that the church is under attack. Yeah. All right, real, real. Amen. Paul, the apostle Paul, wrote this letter. Yeah. 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 Now known or was known for one that attacked the church. Uh huh. Paul. Used to beat mm -hmm. and drag folks oh, yeah. to jail yeah. uh -huh. for going to church. Uh -huh. Yeah. Paul now, uh -huh. you understand, was a a person that was against the church. Uh -huh. Before he got converted. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, Paul, you understand used to be an adversary of the church. Sure, yeah. Now he has become an advocate yeah. of the church. Yes. And if the church is to survive, the attacks that are brought out by the devil and this world, yeah. Paul shows us three things that we need to do. First thing he said we need to do is listen for the warnings. Yeah. Yeah, we, 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 we get warning signs daily. Amen. But how many of us actually, you understand, pay attention to the signs? All right, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Jesus warned us. Here in the text today, Paul is warning us as well. Uh -huh. But many of us have turned a deaf ear to the problems that is crippling our church. Yeah. Amen. 
You don't have to say, man, I, I know I'm right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul is warning us about the problems that will cause our church to fall in faith. Yeah, yeah. So nowadays we're dealing with some churches dealing with low attendance. Uh-huh. Some churches dealing with no attendance. All right, man. We got to address the problem somehow. All right, man. People come to church just to spectate. Yeah. None of us come no more to participate. All right, man. Or clap your hands. Yeah. Or clap your feet. Yeah. 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 around and stand to say amen. Yeah. All right, man. But if God has done anything for you. Yeah. yeah. Like Sharon see you hold my mute. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Real, real. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't hold it. Going to give God the praise. Yes, Lord. Yes. Church trying to move forward. Mm -hmm. And got folks inside that's trying to hold it back. Yeah. All right, man. First thing Paul shows us is that we need to know what to do. Uh -huh. Yeah, the text says here, take heed. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other words, be alert. Yeah. In other words, pay close attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To my warn. Uh-huh. It's not that it, 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 if, it, if it's going to happen. All right. Paul said, the attack going to come on the church. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you need to understand what to do when it happens. Yeah. 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 yeah, you need to take heed. And I'm a firm believer. If you allow something to go on for so long, yeah. it'll get out of control. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Paul said, you need to take heed uh -huh. to what I'm trying to tell you. Uh -huh. Not only should we take heed, but he told us who should do who should take the lead. Uh -huh. take the heed. He said, take heed, therefore, unto yourself uh -huh. and to all the flock over in which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers Amen. to feed the church of God. Yeah. Amen. Paul now addresses the leaders of the church. Yeah. The elders right. and the pastors. Uh -huh. yeah. The deacons. Yeah. 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 Amen. Paul said you need to take heed. Yeah. You need to pay attention. Uh -huh. You need to be on the lookout. Amen. I dare not stand here because he started out and he talking about the pastors of the church. Amen, man. Right. They're not standing here, you understand, and trying to preach God's word. Uh huh. Knowing I'm out there womenizing and beating up all on women. All right, there, man. How can I stand here and preach God's word? Yeah. How can I preach God's word and got to look out for a deacon to come and get me out the nightclub? All right, now, man. Right. Trying to fold me up. Yeah. 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 Say, yeah, it's the pastor's job. Yeah. Uh -huh. To look out for the flock. Yeah. Because that's what he said here. He, he, he said here, you know, you, 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 the, the, the flock that the Holy Ghost have called you to oversee. Amen, man. Yes, the pastor supposed to be on the lookout for the flock. Amen. Pastor, you understand? Supposed to be trying to take care of the flock. Uh -huh. Yeah. You understand? The pastor's supposed to be looking out for wolves. Uh -huh. Trying to attack the flock. Yeah. Some of us too busy trying to pass the other folks' flock. All right, man. And allow the wolf to come in. Yeah. Our own flock. All right, all right. Paul said to the pastors and to the elders to oversee the flock that the Holy Ghost put you on. Amen. Right. Yeah. Now, Paul here, I might make somebody mad. All right, there, man. The text says yeah. that yeah. the yeah. Holy Ghost put you to oversee. Yeah. A lot of folks think that we vote the pastor in, y'all. Yeah. The Holy Ghost got us in here. Amen, yeah. man. The Bible said that I would give you pastors according to mine. Oh, amen. Yeah. You didn't call me. All right, man. God called me. Yeah. And as much as I love the word of faith, I don't right. know what the word of faith. 
die for this church. All right. Amen. Because if your Bible read like mine, he let us know that it was God that purchased the church uh -huh. through his blood. Yeah. Yes. That's what God, that's what Paul let them know. You understand? God is a spirit. No. Amen. So God didn't die. But it was his son that came Amen. that died upon the cross. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you have to get all that. This is my church. Uh -huh. This is my man. All right, man. If they can get rid of you next week and replace your name with somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, man. God can come knocking at your door at any given time. Yeah. And say it's time for you to come on up a little high. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Let us know what to do. Yeah. He let us know who shall do it. Uh -huh. Now he tell us why we ought to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where and how the attacks of the church come against us or take place. He said, for I know this. Verse number 29. This is something I'm not making up. It's Paul talking now. This is not something that's make-believe. Right. Paul said, I know this. Uh-huh. Well, how do you know this, Paul? Uh -huh. Paul said, because it's happening right now. Yeah. Yes. I haven't even left yet. And you got folk coming inside the church. Attacking my sheep. Uh-huh. But he said, after my departing, shall grievous wolves enter among you, not sparing the flock. All right. Jesus, on one occasion, described the Pharisees as wolves and sheep clothes. Oh, uh -huh. Paul warned Timothy when he was in Ephesus about the same thing, and he's doing it right now. Paul knew that when he died, that some of these folks were going to come in, well, slither in, yeah. and take control of the church. All right, there, real. He knew if they wasn't alert that these wolves would come in and destroy the church. Yeah. He knew that the attacks would come in both directions. Uh -huh. From within and from without. Uh -huh. When David wrote the 23rd number of Psalm, yeah. David expressed the, the, the uh, 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 showed us the experience of being, you understand, a shepherd. Yeah. All right. You understand? David showed us that it's the shepherd job. To provide and protect. Yeah. It's the shepherd job to look after the flock. Yeah. But Paul said that that, that these that come in, ah. come in as wolves. Uh-huh. And not sparing the flock. Well. A wolf is trying to kill as many sheep that he possibly can. Amen. Not trying to leave. Yeah. One. Yeah. Amen. And I'm afraid that that's where we stand here today. Well. You got a lot of pastors and preachers. Come in, you understand, not sparing the flock. Amen, man. They don't care about your spiritual needs. All yeah. right, man. They don't care about your salvation. Yeah. They don't care about seeking and saving that which is lost. Uh -huh. They only have one thing on their mind. Yeah. And that's gaining off the flock of God. All right, man. Right, right. You understand, we, 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 we got folks, you understand, ain't worried about getting folks saved. Yeah. Just as long as you have a check for them. Yeah, right, right now, right. At the end of the service. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't have a check for them at the end of the service, right. I guarantee you, you can't worry or ask or see if they're going to come back the following <laughs> Sunday. All right, there, yeah, real. That's right. Mm. <laughs> Digest it, real. Digest it now. We got to watch out, folks like that. Yeah. yeah. We done heard on several occasions where well, preachers and pastors. Lady came in and robbed the church dry. Uh huh. Uh, yes. You got to be looking out such things. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's on the outside. Uh huh. Watch this, but Paul said on the inside as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. You got folks on the inside. Mm -hmm. You got folks on the outside. Uh -huh. Destroying and tearing up the flock of God. Amen, man. Yes. You got pastors. You understand? Falling king with the members. Uh-huh. Then you got folks 
on the inside doing the same thing. Amen, man. I remember on one occasion, and I'm not going to give a name. All right, man. One deacon told a younger deacon, uh huh, you don't have to pay no tax. All right now, real. <laughs> you don't have to listen to the pastor. All right, real. And it was until the pastor stood and took control of the situation. Amen. Mm -hmm. right. You have to watch out for folks like that. Yeah. Right. Try to undermine not only the pastor. All right, man. But try to divide and tear up the church. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm a firm believer that, like Jesus said, a house divided cannot stand. Amen. Amen. I know in the church anniversary we all be preaching and having stuff, but I come here to tell you if we're going to live and see another 20 years, yeah. Amen, man. we got to get our house in order. Amen, Amen. 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 He said the word perverse. Mm -hmm. Men arise and speak and perverse things. That is to turn away from that which is right. Yeah. You got folks that were twisting, tangle up the word of God. Uh -huh. Try to make it fit them in their situation. Right. Yeah. Right. Try to make them seem like they right. Uh -huh. No, you need to interpret the, the word of God the way it's supposed right. to be interpreted. Amen, man. Right. For dying going to hell. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you sit up here, um, sit up here um, twisting up the word of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come here to tell you, I love all people. Uh -huh. White, black, green, or yellow. Amen. I love all people. Yeah. Straight or homosexual. All right, yeah. Right, but right. I come here to tell you, I'm going to preach what the Bible says. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And if, I, if a homosexual come here uncomfortable, then that's all right to me. I'm done my right, job. Pastor. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you that it's all right. Uh -huh. All right. Amen. Yeah. They're here. Mm. They're twisting up the word. All right. Preaching and teaching. But not only we not only must we be taking our heed to the warning, but we ought to be watchful as well. Uh -huh. Amen. If the church is to survive, while under attack, the disciples of God must be watchful. Amen, Rip. Remember when Jesus got ready to go into the garden, like I said, uh -huh. he told his disciples to watch, watch. and pray. Amen. Here Paul said, we as a church must be on the lookout. Uh -huh. Yeah, the text says, watch and remember. Don't just watch and not remember, but we must watch and remember. Uh -huh. We ought to be on the lookout for the tricks of the day. Amen. Amen. And man. don't let them come into the church. Amen. Man. Watch and remember. Remember the things. That's what Paul was trying to get there. Remember the things. That I warn you about. Uh huh. The church, we it came from 20 years Thank you, Lord. up until now. Amen. But we got to remember and watch the things that have been taught to us. Amen. I remember several years ago, Pastor Harris <coughs> told us, me and Reverend Diaz Moore, he said, it's going to come a time when two men or two women are going to come inside the church and ask for you to join them in holy matrimony. All right now, real. Everybody looking strange, but I'm trying to tell you it's coming to that point. Oh, yeah. Because I come to realize that they got more rights than us. Yes, they are. Amen, man. Yeah. But here, said it's going to come a time that they're going to come and ask for us to join them in holy matrimony. And he said, what will you do? And it's like this right here, D. Jones. I would rather spend the rest of my life in jail. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not even there. Then it's been all of eternity in here. Yeah. 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 So you ain't got to worry about that. But Paul said not only should we be on the lookout, but we ought to have the same type of love that he had for them. Yeah, for a space of three years. Uh -huh. Paul said for three years. The number of the Trinity. Right there. Mm -hmm. Number three. The number of time. Because mm -hmm. you got past, present, and future. future. Yeah. Paul said for three years. Uh -huh. I had prayed for you. I, I toiled with you. I warned you and told you for three years now. Y'all yeah, think about it. It reminds me of Jesus. Uh -huh. With his disciples. Yeah. For three years now, I told you what's going to happen. Happened, yeah. For three years. Amen. And then when it happened, you still was looking confused and lost. No, amen. Peter went away. You understand? Jews hung himself. Yeah, uh -huh. For three years, I told you what's going to happen. Paul said, For three years, I told you. I warned you day and night. Uh -huh. You ought to be looking out for the wolf. Yeah. Three days for three for three years now. I told you you ought to be looking out for the attacks. Uh -huh. But I come to realize that you can warn somebody. Amen. Man. And yet still they will not take heed Amen. to your warning. Amen. Amen. Doctor told me a while back. Mike, you need to take care of yourself. Stop eating all the stuff that you eat. Oh, all right, not real. <laughs> but I ain't listen. <laughs> Still go to the store and buy Oreos and donuts, <laughs> ham hocks. I'm gonna stop it. I'm getting hungry. I ain't eating yet. <laughs> go and buy stuff. Now here I am. Can't have seen. Can't hardly stand up. I like it. Taking medicine from day in and day out, morning, noon, and night. Yeah. Cause we don't take heed to the warning. Amen. 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 Paul said, you need to take heed. Mm -hmm. He said, look out. Mm -hmm. Then he said, love. love. Because he love. shed tears for him. Amen. He cried because it hurt his heart. Uh -huh. Paul knew that, 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 that he wasn't going to come back to talk to him. Paul knew that it wasn't going to be long. You understand? That God was going to call him home. Amen. And Nero was going to cut off his head. Yeah. yeah. Paul said, I'm warning you now. I might not see you no more. I'm trying to tell you. Take heed. Word of faith, I might not see you next year. But I want you to understand right now, you need to take heed. Yeah. Amen. Right now. And remember the things. Not only that the first Harris told you. Amen. But what this Harris is trying to tell you. Amen. Look out for the wolf. Yeah. yeah. Listen to what God got to say. Yeah. Uh -huh. Paul said, the only thing left that I can do, and that is to leave you in the hands of God. Uh -huh. And he said, now, brother, I commend you to God. That's a good thing. Uh -huh. He said, I ain't going to leave you in the hands of man. Because man don't care about it. Amen. But I'm going to leave you in the hands of the Lord. Amen. That's good news right yeah, there. Yeah. That God, that Paul left them in the hands of God. Yeah. Hands that no man can put man out of. He said, I'm going to leave you in the hands of the Lord. And not only that, but I'm going to leave you with his word. Yeah. And then what your Bible said, the word of his grace. grace. Other words, I'm going to leave you with the Bible. Yeah. I left you in God's hand. And now you've got the Bible. But it's up to us to take heed and do what God has asked and told us to do. You've got to learn how to open up the Bible. Stop yeah. opening up on Sunday yeah. when we do responsive reading. Open up Monday morning sometimes. Yeah. Open up on Wednesday evening sometimes. Yeah. Friday night, instead of putting up a, a bottle in the nightclub, pull out your Bible and start reading what it's say to the Lord. That's the only way we're going to be able to survive the attacks of the devil. Amen, man. If I know it and read this word. But yeah. I said, well, why should we read and do what he said? Paul said for two things. He said, because it will build you up. Yeah. And it will give you an inheritance uh -huh. among all of them which are sanctified. Other words, that it will build you up. 
I know somebody been torn down yeah. in your, at once in their life. Yeah. Somebody, you understand, didn't, didn't know up from down and right. left from right. Yeah. Somebody didn't know day from night up in here. Somebody didn't know where the next bill was coming from. Amen. Somebody didn't know how the light bill was going to get paid. But yeah. God said, yeah, I gave you my word. Yeah. All you got to do is open up the written text yeah. and read what thus says the Lord. Yeah. And now, ask me, Cole. First of all, I showed you the one. Uh huh. You understand? That is given by Paul. Yeah. I showed you to be that we ought to be watchful. Uh huh. Finally, if the church is to survive uh -huh. under the attacks, we must be a witness through its work. Yeah. We must witness through its work. Yeah. Amen. Other words, word of faith, the Lord have brought us from a mighty long way. Amen. Yeah. Yes, yes. And through the years, we ministered to others. All right. Through our works. Yeah. yeah. Sister Williams got us on Facebook now, mm -hmm. where we can be a witness across the land. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yesterday, by the grace of of God mm -hmm. and the Fred Harris Scholarship Fund. Amen. We gave out book bags with other churches to the kids in the neighborhood. All right, amen. And God, all right. Yeah. yeah. And then a witness and through, you understand the work. Yes. Paul said, I have conveyed no man, mm -hmm. no man's silver. Gold or a pair. Paul said, I never bag or stole from nobody. All right. He said, I didn't have to do it. But Paul said, You gave you yourselves know that these hands have ministered unto my necessities and to them that were with me. Paul let them know, I don't need. Nothing from the church. All right. Reason why Paul, you understand, worked for himself. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't want to have nobody to, to hold some over his head. Yeah. And saying that all he come here to do is to preach so he can just get a couple of dollars from the church. Yeah. All right, that man. All he do is want to beg and ask the church to pay his light bill and his water bill. All right, man. Where do they know? Yeah, I'm like this. You don't got to give me a dime. I'm gonna still do God's work. Yeah. Because I got a, I got a high calling and I got a paycheck waiting on me up there. Yeah. There's no man can forge my name and talk right. about yeah. Paul said, I work my hands with my hand. He showed me his hand and said, look at the calluses and the coins in my hand. Yeah. I made tents. I didn't have to ask for a dime. Matter of fact, I worked not only for myself. But I work for those that were with me. So Paul let them know. You understand that I work for what I got. Uh -huh. But he said here in verse number 35. He said I have shown you all things. Uh, how that so labor ought to be support. And we ought to be able to support the weak. And to remember the words of our Lord. And what did the Jesus say? It's more blessing to give than to receive. And that's all I'm trying to tell you. Word of faith that God has brought us from a mighty long way. Yeah. But we got to realize that it's up to us to continue to do the work of the Lord. Amen. Some of us want to come in here, you understand, and don't want to worry about the folks that are lost outside of us. But we got to understand and know that God, you understand, wants us to go out and go to work. Yeah. But I've been bringing us 20 years just for us to sit around and do nothing right. and watch folks die and go to hell. You know what I'm saying? You need somebody that need a, 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 a helping hand. Paul said you ought to go out there and help them out. Yes. Paul said we ought to still continue to feed the home. Then Jesus said that you're going to have the poor with you all with you. All right. yeah, I know you're going to have the poor with you all because I'm still standing right here. All right. All right. Paul said that you ought to go out and go and labor for the Lord. Yeah. And that's what Paul said, that we're going to, uh, you understand, avoid the attacks of 
the devil. Uh -huh. And we got to, you understand, we got to take heed to the one. Yeah. We got to watch out, but we got to also go and witness to the lost souls of God. Uh -huh. We got to try to bring the lost souls in. He said it's more blessing to give than to receive. And I want to close out on that note right like there. He said it's more blessing to give than to receive. Uh -huh. So I said, well, how do you know? But I remember four, I remember over 2,000 years ago. Yeah. A man named Jesus Christ came Come down now. before the two generations. Yes, yes. And he gave his life for us. Yeah. So I'm about to say, well, how do I know? Because my Bible said that he gave his hands to the nails. Yeah. He gave his feet to the spike. All right. He gave his side to the, the swim. Yeah. He gave his head, you understand, to the crown. Yeah. He gave his spirit to the father. Yeah. He gave his body to the grave. Yeah. Well, early that Sunday morning, yeah. he got up with all power. Yeah. And he held me up in his hand. And I'm so glad today that the Lord looked beyond all my faults. Yeah. And saw in my every need. Yeah. I want you to know where the faith that God has still got his hands on us. Yeah. I know we've been here for 20 years. Oh, yeah. We've seen folks come and we've seen folks go. Yeah. We've seen folks have to leave here on the fire chair and go back home to be with the Lord. Yeah. But I want you to understand that if we just continue to walk in the pathway that the Lord has given us. Yeah. God is going to be the best for another 20 years. Yeah. I might not be here for another 20 more, but I thank God for the 20 I haven't been here. Yeah. I thank God for the people I haven't met. I thank God for the man that I met. Yeah. Most of all, I thank God for the man that he sent down to die for my sins. Yeah. I told you I'm through right now. Sometimes I have to, you understand, testify. And All testify right, man. How good God is. Yeah. Yeah. God has been to me that I've been to myself. Yeah. God has made ways out of no way. Uh -huh. God has been me. I can bless myself. Yeah. Yeah. God has opened up doors and all oh, men and close yeah. yeah. God has been closing doors that man tried to leave a walk through. God has gave me everything that I need. And I thank God for what he's done. Yeah. So I think that we're going to be here for another 20 years. Preaching God's word. Yeah. We're going to be here another 20 years. Amen. Claiming God's word. Yeah. We're going to be here another 20 years. Let folks that we might be small, but we are, yeah, we are sick. Yeah. We are yeah. 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 That life can not be here. Oh. I ain't worried about nothing. I'm worried about soul. Amen. 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 We got to take heed. To what does say the Lord. Yeah. So the church is being attacked. Uh -huh. From the outside and from the end. Amen. But Paul showed us here in the text that we can survive for another 20 years. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Say, he, watch out. Amen. We supposed to be our brother's king. We need to watch out for one another. Amen, man. Amen. 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 That's right. We need oh, glory. to be on one accord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop cutting out all this foolishness that we doing. All right. It ain't about who can do what. Amen. Right. Amen. It ain't about who got the biggest church. All right. It's about God. Amen. 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 And we need to get on one accord. Yes, sir. God the best of for twenty years. And I know for a fact he's going to continue to bless us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And we stay faithful to him. One thing about it, God is faithful. Amen. It's us that change. Amen. If right. we stay faithful to him, God will stay faithful to us. Amen. God bless you, God keep you, God bless you. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you, God bless you.